Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. It's the 2023 fashion predictions. I did fashion design years ago and I used to love doing this. I used to love researching the fashion predictions. So typically what we did was we were given a project. So we'd have to research the fashion predictions and then come up with our fashion designs from that and then create a fashion collection of course for our uni projects. What I will say is that style is very <laughs> style is very personal and you show your creativity through your clothes and don't ever think you're not fashionable by not following a trend. There's a lot of trends out there I don't fall, follow and I don't like and I don't like they're just not me. So if you take some inspo from this today and like a certain trend and want to follow a bit of it or sort of interject that into your personality and your style, fine. If you don't want to follow any of these trends, you do you because at the end of the day, and I've said this to my friends and I say it all the time when they ask me tips about fashion, if you feel comfortable in what you wear and you love what you see, whenever, like what you're wearing, if you love what you see in the mirror and what you're wearing and you love your style that day, then that is being fashionable. It doesn't matter if it's not on trend. If you feel comfortable in that and that is giving you your vibes for the day, that's what you go for. I know even me, my personality has evolved and changed over the years. That's why I say fashion is very much related to your personality. Like whenever I was younger to becoming a mummy, my fashion has changed slightly. Now I do like to follow trends as well. And I like to interject them and play about with them. But I also know that I will not wear anything unless I like it and I feel comfortable in it. The first trend that I'm predicting for 2023, and I absolutely love this. I saw little bits of it last year. So towards the end of the year and I've already invested into myself is a maxi skirt. I love this trend probably because the mini micro skirts I'm a little bit afraid of too much of my leg on show. I am short and I do know like a good bit of leg out does give me length but a maxi skirt equally gives me a lot of length to my legs and makes me appear taller than what I am so very excited about that trend. So it will come in the form of like a lot of there was towards the end 2023 a lot of people wearing like denim maxi skirts so that will continue so it'll be like tailored kind of maxi skirts not like not flared we go more for like the straight length tailored maxi skirts um i've got a pinstripe one which i love and then you could think about sort of wearing that kind of more with basics or like oversized jackets kind of make this because this is very much like a 90s vibe 90s slash y2k vibe because i remember the last time i wore a maxi skirt was whenever i was 12 and that i think was in 2000 2001 that's kind of where this is coming from another trend is going to be relaxed denim double denim as well that's going to be another one so in relaxed denim you're going away from skinny skinnies are out they are out the door and i'm so glad because i just am not a fan of skinnies but on the other side they're very relaxed this year so they became slightly like wide leg and low rise which i do not like low rise but that seems to be continuing um but they're literally so relaxed it's nearly like wearing joggers because the, it's all about the functionality of like feeling relaxed and comfortable in what you wear it's not about having like tight restricted jeans so your denim this year is going to be very relaxed so what i would personally do is if they're very relaxed jeans you want to wear you want to balance it out i always think about balancing so wear something more you know tight and sort of structured up top with your loose baggy jeans another big one which is a weird one i don't know if i've seen this before in summer but your spring summer 2023 is metallics and sequins I don't remember sequins being a thing in summer, in a summer trend, but that apparently is the new trend, is having your metallics, which if you kept your metallic trousers, which were a big thing pre-Christmas there, and don't throw out your sequins yet, don't go selling those. I sold my, <laughs> my metallic trousers and I shouldn't have, because now they are staying into the summer. Maybe even metallic accessories will be really nice i do have a pair of gold boots and i do love them with all black but because we're coming into summer i would say you're going to possibly mix some of the metallicness with some color but you're going to have to be very careful because it be can become and look very tacky very quickly otherwise in northern ireland i don't know if metallics and sequins is going to work on an everyday basis but i'm assuming these metallics are are partially supposed to be worn on an everyday basis now i can imagine 
over in Costa del Sol with the sun shining it's gonna look really nice you're gonna have the gold and the metallics just glistening and the sequins and like yeah i can imagine that's gonna look really nice in the sun glistening in the sun but over here in the rain and the wet during the day i'm gonna probably look like i'm going out for 2 p.m drinks at the pub that's what you're gonna see it's been all over the catwalks so it's 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 everywhere and it is not going away okay let's get into colors because they always feel like Everyone wants to know what's the color for the season. So the colors are actually quite neutral for a change in summer. Um, last year was lots and lots of brights. Now the big bright color that I'm seeing from all the research that I've done um, online for 2023 and on the catwalks, it seems to be cobalt blue. Ooh, not a fan of cobalt blue, not a fan at all. So I'm not happy to hear that. No others will obviously love it, but this will be like full color block cobalt blue suits which will look absolutely amazing on you i'm sure but on me it's just not a fight also lime green also again mm, i don't know how i feel about it i probably wear an accessories that can imagine me wearing a real cream suit blazer and matching trousers or matching skirt and then a bright pop of lime lime green that would be nice also another little color that was big the last couple of years and it's still here this year it's just in a different shade so last year was hot pink this year it's more like a candy floss pink so it's sort of more of a muted pink and the way i would wear that is rather than an accessory this is one that would suit the neutral girls because it is a very mild color and a subtle color candy floss pink like think of like a satin dress and a candy floss pink and then your pop of color with either your cobalt blue or with your lime green it would be amazing if you want to like um mix your colors that way i think that would look really nice and that is the color predictions that they have had for 2023 a trend that i am loving because i just love the whole ethos of it the sustainability factor the trend is elevated basics whenever i did research years ago for my upcoming projects you look at what's happening across the board it's happening around the world and it's things politically economically different factors like that that will encourage what the fashion trends will be so obviously with the economy and different things and the big factor on sustainability and reduce of waste this is why elevated basics is a massive trend for this year if you got a satin maxi skirt that would that would literally be a forever staple for you and then like obviously your tailored blazers and like a little tailored shirt a really good quality cotton t-shirt things like that but you want to make sure that you invest in these pieces to give you longevity out of your wardrobe and i love the whole fact that they're trying to help you build a capsule wardrobe and the fact that this is a trend because this should be not just a one-off trend this should be a forever trend it has become in the last year in my life i have become more of that staple girl trying to create a capsule wardrobe because i did too much of the clicking into trends and then having nothing to wear them with whereas lately i've tried to build up this capsule wardrobe so i have plenty of outfits to keep me going for days without having to buy anything new and actually on january i am on like a let's not buy anything this month try my best i'll see how i get on and trend that is not an elevated basic that is not going to be for me sustainable motocross so motocross is a trend and i just I've seen a lot of influencers like Matilda Jurf and then Lafisa, I can't remember her last name, Lafisa Wallen. And she has two children because I always think with me with motocross, I can't pull this off because I'm a mummy of two, but she's a mummy of two and she pulls it off, but it's just not a me trend. So I'm go I'm not going to buy into it this year. I say this, I'll probably eat my words, but I don't think I'm going to buy into it. So it's your basically like kind of like your leather jackets with like your stripes down the side of them just don't feel it for me i could see myself wearing a big vintage oversized brown faded blazer something that's like um it looks like my dad's worn something like that which i probably could possibly get offended i could wear something like that and delve into the motocross in my own personal way 
but the motocross typical motocross thing i just don't think i can do but that is in and you'll probably see it um you saw it probably last year delve in a little bit to it so this year it'll be a bit more heavily focused and probably in like skirts trousers it'll be like a lot of leather gear ready to hop on a motorbike kind of thing and then with that that will actually work well with that is cargo pants and i think cargos are here to stay as well for a little bit i think cargo trousers again big pockets there'll probably be more pockets on them i think will be more like cargo jackets and things but i can and i could wear cargos because i did try them last year and i think i can wear them but i'd love to get like a big oversized cargo um jacket and trousers but instead of making them relaxed i'd probably wear heels with them another one that i am loving and it's going to be very controversial it's ballet flats ballet flats are here to stay they are entering 2023 and some people will hate them because they will remind them of their school shoes. But that's the reason I hate loafers. So I'm so glad to see ballet flats and bye bye to loafers. I mean loafers will still probably be there but ballet flats is definitely more of a meme. -y. I think they just look so sophisticated. Sophisticated but simplistic. Simplistic chic. So like a pair of jeans, laser, t-shirt with ballet flats. Very Parisian, very chic, very simplistic and back to your elevated basics. So I'm all about the ballet flats. The ballet flats are here. Some people will disagree. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on them in the comments down below. Okay, we've got sheer. Sheer is another trend. Sheer fabrics. And I mm, don't know how I feel about sheer. I feel like I need to go back to the swimming pool a few more times before I decide that sheer is for me. I need to work on that body. But like sheer, we saw a few sheer tops. And now it's like double sheer. So it's like the layering of the sheer, which I'm probably more into. So if you're going to leave the sleeves very sheer, but like double up the fabric at the front, then that is fine. Um, even a bra top underneath it would work better for me. I'm very like, I don't want anybody seeing my bra underneath, but like a, a sophisticated bra top might be nice, which is another trend as well. The bra tops. Bra tops for me on their own, I know, no, but I think it's all about feminine femininity and it's about embracing what you have and we have bras underneath and what's wrong with showing them that's kind of the idea i think that they're taking from this so it's more about woman empowerment and which is fine for everybody but i'm not going to don it i could probably wear a sheer top over it but i'm not going to wear it like which is what i see i'm seeing people with blazers and trousers and like a suit and then a bra underneath and they look so good but i've had two children and i just can't show off that much plus these are quite big i just feel like not for me i feel like if you have very little boobage i think it'll probably look best it'll, it'll probably look good in everybody but it's just for me it's just not a trend that i want to see on me <laughs> basically but yeah it is big so you're going to see a lot of people and um basically bras people selling bras and that will be the trend. Okay, whenever it comes to patterns, I'm not a pattern girl. I don't like florals, but we have a pattern this year. It's supposed to be big. So it is blurred patterns. So I don't know whether it's like a mix of like tie-dye and like ombre and they just mash it and it's blurred, but it's kind of like sunset blurs and just blurred dresses and things. Oh, it's a Y2K 90s vibe. I do remember it from whenever I was younger. It'll probably very much summer daytime kind of vibes on the beach kind of bohemian sort of hippie kind of look it's not a look for me i say this again i say this and in a few months time you'll see pictures all over instagram here's ashley in the blurred pattern maxi skirt here's ashley in the beach bikini blurred pattern as soon as you say that you won't wear it slowly later down the line there are probably going to be pictures to uh basically shove it in your face i'm saying i don't like it now we'll see We'll see later down the line. In the accessory department, we also have big bags, which I am so happy about because I bought, and I fell into the trend of the little mini bags. I bought myself a Shackamas bag and logically it made, never made any sense. I didn't get the micro mini. I got like a, a version that was a little bit bigger. And the only thing, I don't, think I, I don't think I could even fit my phone in it. And logically it's a handbag. It does not make sense to get a handbag that cannot fit your personal belongings in so i am so glad to see that a big trend is the oversized big bags mary poppins bags so yeah big bulky bags that is what the vibe is oh another one that's kind of for me hit and miss fringing 
Fringin is another 2023 trend. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's the sort of, it's gonna be big. So you're gonna have big massive sleeves fringin, fringin from your elbows down. You're gonna have like a full fringe dress, but like really exaggerated fringes. There was a bit of it came in the tail end of 2022 and it's gonna further resurface into 2023, but bigger and bolder. Yeah, I don't know where we finished off there because my camera did die, so I had to go back and charge it. The reason I don't love fringin is because I feel if it's done subtly, it's okay. But half the time I feel like it looks like your clothes have come out of the washing machine and been ripped into bits. So it's not a trend that I love. Another reason that I'm not a big fan of fringing as a trend is because I feel like it bulks out the clothes a lot and then you, your shape disappears. So I'm a dresser or I like to dress in outfits that sort of complement my figure and show off my figure not something that hides it and I find that this over the top fringing is going to completely lose your figure especially if it's a whole dress fringing and big fringing tassels everywhere you're going to be lost in it it is going to be a free statement piece but it was seen in the catwalks a lot of fringing all these trends are very much 90s y2k vibes and they are very much a divided very relaxed you lose your figure and your shape and then also very sheer and the bra tops where you're showing off a lot of shape so i think what you'll want to do is mix these trends so mix the loose fitting stuff with the more tight fitting with the sheer stuff so you're getting a balance of your outfit that you balance out the proportions half the trends i'm loving as you can see half the trends i'm not liking what ones do you like what ones do you agree with me on and what ones do you not agree with me on that you absolutely love i'd love to know your opinions too so let me know don't take any of this that i've said as gospel because this is just what i'm seeing from all my research and also like i said earlier you do you because fashion is not like it whenever i say these trends it does not mean that you have to go by these trends to be fashionable being comfortable in what you wear and loving what you wear is the most fashionable thing that you can do and be these are just for playing about with having a little bit of fun with i hope you enjoyed this video find it very interesting i love i love doing this because it brings me back to my uni days so if there is anything like i said you agree with me on let me know or don't agree or if there's any other fashion trends you don't think i've mentioned let me know in the comment section comment section down below and i'll see you later bye